Hey, light workers, light warriors, indigos, and star seeds. This is your daily tarot for sun, moon, and rising for March 27th, 2020, and it's coming up right now. Hello everyone, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration and at, here at this channel we help you lead a whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. This is your daily tarot for sun, moon and rising signs for March 27th, 2020. We will be using the star child tarot for each of the signs and then we'll do a quick collective as well with the Star Seed Oracle. So without further ado, let's begin Aries. This is gonna be rapid fire guys, through all 12 signs, Aries, the universe in the Star Child Tarot, this is the world card. This is telling me Aries that there are spiritual, energetic, and also physical chapters that are closing right? What does the world mean? The world means chapters, old chapters closing, new chapters opening. What does the world also mean? The world, as far as the universe card especially, means that there is now a new expanse that's being opened up to you as well. It's not just endings, it's beginnings, right? So now being able to kind of transformatively have some, have greater access to all things in the spirit realm, all things, right, to your own higher self and how your higher self now interacts with source energy, with God, with universe. Yes. So allow these old, these, these ideologies and all these things that must change and are being shaken. Everything that can be shaken is being shaken right now. Allow that to happen and fall away. As uncomfortable as it may feel, as much as you're just like, oh my gosh, I know. I've held on to this forever and I can't do anything different. And no, this is the way it has to be. No, it doesn't. But be true to yourself. I think this is also a real good self-discovery moment as well. And not just self-discovery in the third dimensional realm. Self-discovery as far as who you really are as a higher being and coming into a really deep knowledge of your purpose, Aries. And this is kind of like, oh, opening up for you, okay? So let the old things that are being taken away and some of it prop might even be surrounding job, identity, like all of these things, like who you really thought you were and what you really thought you were about. Mm. And it's not fitting right now. Maybe some of those friends aren't fitting. Maybe you just can't be around certain like family members as much as you w were before. Maybe, you know, whatever. There's a lot that's moving around. Okay. So be okay with becoming even a greater part of this collective. But be even more okay with discovering who you truly are right? And what, what you truly are all about and where you truly want to go, right? And, and, and opening yourself up to that conversation and not being so closed off. It's okay for these to close because this is a brand new day, a brighter day that's coming. All right, Aries, there you go for sun, moon, and rising. We're going to move it along to Taurus, page of wands, Taurus. Uh, inspirations, right? There's a little flicker of light going on, a little fire that's been lit after all this bombardment with everything else, everything changing all around you, it all swirling. Wow, it's tough, isn't it? But now you're beginning to see this glimmer of light, this glimmer of hope, this, you know what, I can make this change. I, I know things have been ripped away and things have changed so fast. And you're also being asked to do this like personal transformation. And sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable, right? Taurus for you kind of, it's a little uncomfortable because you like this structure 
and you like these finer things and some of these finer things maybe you're like i don't really need them as much as i thought i did or oh my god so it's going to be very important for as you move into this new realm as you move into this new identity as you are becoming more aware right of that there's more to life than just the third dimensional trappings you're getting some inspiration about and and an insight into who you truly can be and if you notice like she sees this beautiful door that's wide open and she's kind of turning around and looking back she's got that little wand that she's used to guide her all this way and now there's an open door in front of her right an open door to the next step the next portal so it's okay to look back and i really sense that all of heavens right all of the heavens that spirit that source that god is saying to you yeah you're on the right path yeah it's been rocky and it's been rough but you're at the door so just turn around and go in and start walking through it because on the other side there's a lot waiting for you on the other side a whole new world that's waiting for you okay taurus all right we're going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, we've got the page of crystals. If you notice, her crown chakra is illuminated. Listen. And she's got all sorts of little manifestation crystals just kind of floating around her, right? Feels a little bit brand new. So not only are you going to be getting like new ideas about how to um manifest not just only the things that you want and need but the things that are going to be supportive and the most important but i do see new friends potentially coming in new business partners people to work with um and new spirit guides or like angels that you kind of known were there that now making themselves more known to you potentially in your dream state, potentially in your waking state, you know, kind of your choice. Um, that also is going to become in a third dimensional realm much more apparent, right? Much more apparent. Um, so open these folks in. There may be some people that you've dealt with and that you've been working with for a while that maybe it's time to kind of, maybe that chapter's closing as we get some new ones coming in. Um, and that can be a little difficult, but it's also wonderful all at the same time, right? So, um, yeah, this is a good time, but be open to forging new relationships and friendships and partnerships be open to that because i feel like that's going to be the link to some um abundant living and like the next step in your evolution in like the third dimensional business realm um it's just going to be open to that okay cancer king of swords Oof. Man, Cancer, um, you know, we much prefer to be Queen of Cups. I'm going to, this is interesting. I've never seen this in this card until now. If you look very closely, there's two. He's been looking to the left and looking to the right, right? There's images of him turned to the left and turned to the right. And now his face is facing forward. You've been looking to the left and looking to the right, Cancer. Figuring out, looking at your surroundings, trying to make a decision. What makes the most sense? What is the truth? Which way should I go? What is my truth? What works for me? Straight ahead. You've made your decision. Live in your truth. 
stop denying it. Stop worrying about whatever else anybody else is going to think. Stop worrying about whether or not people are going to come along with you or not, because they're not. If there are people in your life that really aren't serving <coughs> your greater purpose, maybe it's time that they are just kind of let go, right? Because now it's straight, all, all st full steam ahead. Full steam ahead with all of the truth, knowledge, love, wisdom that we've been receiving and we've been integrating into ourselves. Now it's time for it to start to come out and us to wield that sword and say, this is, right? So we have to set our boundaries. Stop looking each other way straight ahead. Because if we're, diver if we're diverted, if our attention is diverted to the left or to the right, we're going to miss the turn, right? We're going to miss like jumping over something, an obstacle, whatever. We're going to miss it because we're not paying attention to our true course. So follow that true course for higher good. This is Aquarian energy. Follow that true course for the higher good so we play our proper role, all right? Uh, Leo, Akashic Records, Leo, this is the time to, um, clear karma. This is the time to look at the lessons you were to have learned. This is the time to have greater understanding of all of the things you've been through. This is the time to take all of this information and say, how does it help me fulfill my purpose in the future? Not just sit in it and be like, well, I got to go back and say, how can I put this? Not to sit in it to people, please. To sit in it and purpose, please. Purpose fulfill. Okay. To be like, okay, this is where we're at. This is where I've been. And let me release limiting beliefs. Let me release things that are holding me back. Let me release all of that. And then move forward though. Right? Move forward. Okay. Move forward. The only reason to look and see where you've been is to know where you're going. Take those lessons. Okay. Take the good from them, heal the pain, and go ahead. All right. Seven of crystals for Virgo. Virgo is seven of crystals. You're beginning to see some manifestation. You're beginning to see some little drips. You're beginning to see some um, things come to pass that you've been working on. This is to let you know you're on the right path. This is to let you know you're doing the right thing. This is to let you know you're manifesting what you need to. This is to let you know all of that. Okay. Um, seven of crystals. Continue to bring it in. Right after this, right, is the eight of crystals or the eight of pentacles, which is hard work, but working at what you love. So you're getting the, the, the knowledge and you're getting the nod that, hey, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. I'm going to show you this, you know, you're going to get this little nugget and keep it going. Okay. So don't stop now. Now's not the time to, to quit and falter. Now's the time to forge ahead with your manifestation energy. Now's the time to forge ahead with that additional like meditation you've been doing, like the books you've been reading, like now is the time to move. Now's not the time to stop because the next level of hard work is what's coming in front of us. All right. Um, Libra, 10 of crystals. You are really about to move. This is for sun, moon, or rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun, please check your moon or your rising sign. 10 of crystals. Uh, you're coming into, you know, as we get ready and prepare for the full moon in Libra in April, on April 7th, you are preparing for some fantastic, full, well-rounded, um, physical 
as well as spiritual manifestations yourself. Abundance in every area, balance, okay? This is not just I'm completely satisfied with myself. This is also I'm satisfied with myself, nine of crystals energy, and my surroundings are now reflecting that because I'm sending out the energy of abundance. I am no longer sending out the energy of imbalance and of lack. I'm sending out the energy of abundance. And as you send that energy of balance and self-partnering, self-love out, what then gets attracted to you? All those good things come right back. Not only that, you begin to affect the rest of the world your world and then everybody links up and then we affect the full world so look for this to come um i'm not saying on the 27th boom here you are but what i am saying is this is that there are definitely seeds and belief system seeds and seeds of faith right so believe that you already have this because it truly does already exist in the future we're just waiting for time and space so I, to, to just close, and so you see it in the, in the third dimension. So let that come in and just let it sit and know, and know, and know, and know that this shall come to pass. You already have it. Just continue to resonate at that frequency and that vibration. All right. Uh, Scorpio, four of crystals. Scorpio, are you burying a few things here and there? Being a little closed off? Being a little like, mm, not really sure what's going on here. Don't fall into despair or destruction either because of this though. So it's okay to kind of not show your hand, right? But be very careful that by not showing your hand, you're not creating a clog in your heart. Be careful because what can happen is you can clog up your energy flow if you've kind of closed your belief systems off. All right. So I know that it's, this is equally as tough for you right now with, you know, this Capricornian Pluto, Jupiter, um, energy. You've got Saturn that just entered an Aquarius, which squares you right mars is coming in there that's squaring your sun and your moon you're rising so that can make you want to be like i'm not sure if i'm ready for this brand new bright new world I'm not sure if i'm really ready for all this change uh i think it's all right but i'm not really sure about it yet i haven't vetted everybody out that's supposed to be working with me right now so you're a little hesitant and we still have uranus that's been wreaking havoc okay in opposition so just be very careful and aware that you're not blocking receiving good energy that you're not blocking receiving your blessing that you're not blocking your ascension your awakening okay yeah a little on guard might be a good idea but don't let it sit in all right rest take a breather with this taurus moon finishing up on the 27th into the 28th so rest and take a breather here recoup and then let's get her going again you know as the moon then comes into gemini and hopefully gives you a little relief all right uh sagittarius six of swords saggies i would say we're traveling um but i don't believe we're traveling physically um Instead, Sagis, we're most likely traveling uh, esoterically, um, energetically, leaving all of this stuff behind and walking away free, learning our lessons, leaving old ide ideas and thoughts, leaving all of this kind of, you know, the, the previous card, this is Five of Swords, so it's a lot of... <laughs> conflict so this is inner conflict this could be external conflict as well but we're done with the conflict now we're done we're gonna take those 
that information and lessons and we're going to move them forward. We're going to take what we need to. We're going to leave behind what we don't. And we're going to ascend. We're going to further awaken. We're going to go higher in our thought, elevate our frequency so that we remain that positive, fun-loving Sagittarians that we need right now. We need that fire right now. We need that like spark of let's like get together and let's do things. And if we can't get together physically, let's get together energetically. But I want to connect with you. But you're wanting to leave all that conflict behind. <laughs> and that's good. Because it's not doing you any good to have this argument even with yourself. So there's no reason why we can't try the new thing. What's wrong with that? Move forward, evolve, get going, go on and do it. All right, Cappy's Ace of Crystals. I love it, I love it as we're coming into Jupiter being conjunct to Pluto. All of a sudden we've got achievement energy. All of a sudden we've got manifestation energy. All of a sudden we've got, oh, we're being made to brand, being brand new, aren't we? You've had some really good energy and it may have been feeling like, oh my gosh, I feel like my insides are getting ripped out. It's really not that bad. You'll be okay. Um, yes, it's change. Yes, it's faster than you want. Yes, it's probably on a more global scale than you want. But we, we're beginning, it's breaking loose. So we're beginning to see how it's going to be impactful. Okay, we're beginning to see that. We're beginning to see how it's going to really work with us, all right, in a great way. We're beginning to see how it's going to be helpful to our future. Mm. Aquarius, serenity. Hmm. You know, Aquarius, sometimes there's this need to just be still and be peaceful. You've been giving out a lot and you've got a lot more to give. It's been tumultuous and it's about to get more tumultuous now that Saturn's there. Regroup. Regroup, meditate, regroup, write stuff down, like release it, but not releasing it like rapid fire where people are just like, oh my gosh, I need you to chill. Um, I need you to regroup. Okay. I need you to find the peace within because all of this like stuff happening within is just not, it's not good for the rest of us. Okay, so it's not good for you and it's making you upset and it's making you agitated. So we need you to keep your peace. All right, we need you to keep your your peace specifically. <laughs> so um, as Saturn comes into Aquarius squaring um, Uranus in, well, it never really totally squares it, but it's kind of like that kind of concept, that orb. Um, so it's feeling a little agitated. Um, so, but bring the peace in because in the peace comes all understanding, right? In the peace, you can hear, you can't hear if you've got a lot of stuff going on, right? And like agitation and all that. So be the peace. All right. Welcome the peace in. Last but not least, I've got Pisces with the seven of swords. Pisces, I'm going to tell you something. Um, I feel like that you are having this um, concern that you're losing out on something. 
potentially that you're missing something that you've missed out on something you've missed the boat um that ev that because you were holding on to one train of thought that maybe you missed it or you were kind of like misled and i need you to understand about your value system right that's what we're still in this taurus moon how we feel about what we value it's not so much you were misled or like maliciously but it is that your it's changing right your ideals are changing because they need to and no one meant to lead you down a different path but in fact that the path that you've been led down and that now you are awakening from and now that you are like i've got more enlightenment now you needed to go down that path in order to get to the position that you're in it's it may or may not change how you're feeling about it but i'm just gonna kind of ask you to take this energy and instead of saying you stole all this time from me you stole all this energy where i could have been so much more and so much greater so much further along some of you maybe are getting lied to by some people um very close to you that you trusted and i'm sorry about that and perhaps you're finding this out so i'm really you know i'm sorry i hate that that's happening um but others of you are just like i can't believe <coughs> that i've been kind of lied to all this time mm -hmm. so um It was everything has its purpose and a plan though everything has its reason for happening you again you wouldn't have been in a position now where you can see differently if you didn't have a foundation to build on like if there was no ideology to change that is almost more difficult because where's your foundation um and if you are being like kind of misled on purpose where someone did kind of mean it in a malicious fashion. Um, you're seeing it now because you need to. Because maybe they should not have as prominent of a position in your world. All right. All right. Collectively, we have the empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Listen, babies, listen, beloveds, don't take on what's not yours be sovereign energetic sovereignty means i've got my boundaries set i'm not allowing you just to dump all of your crap in here right and i'm not going to take all of it and hold on to it now i might know that that's what's going on in you but i'm going to help you through that healing process or the releasing process i'm going to give you an encouraging word i'm going to help you in, in whatever capacity i can but i'm not taking it on so please on the 27th everybody practice energetic sovereignty we all have enough to deal with on our own we don't need to be taken on everybody else's and we are getting bombarded right now by literally the world's energy and some of us it's bringing us way down man it is hard so i need you to not I need you to break free. I need you to say, no, I'm not going to internalize your fear. I can be smart about things and I can be safe, but I'm not going to internalize your fear. I'm not going to internalize doubt. I'm not going to internalize low vibrational frequencies. I am going to exude love, light, wisdom, peace, joy i am going to work on my inner self in this healing process i am going to do those things but what i'm not going to do is accept all of your other stuff sovereignty it's not selfish it's not wrong right it's selfish for someone else to push their stuff off on you and expect for you to take it and go you hold on to it and you deal with it so i don't have to and i just walk away scot-free that's selfish Okay, so just remember that, guys. All right, that's 
all for today. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you guys being with me. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it. And leave some comments below, all right? Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Namaste.